What's up everyone, this is Saint Psych91 back once again for some more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. In the last part we ventured through Metropolis, but we're unsuccessful in tracking down Captain Quark. And we also learned that Drex's forces are on Eudora cutting down trees. Insert Ted Turner clip here. <laughs> Anywho. We're going to be going over to Aridia in order to help out Skidnik Marks, and maybe we'll find something of value there. Other than a stupid skater reject, I guess. Before you ask, these appear every time you select a planet. Every time. Damn, this place looks bleak. <laughs> Not too sure if that's another planet or if it's a moon. I'm gonna go with planet. <laughs> so I think that makes a little bit more sense. Anywho, let's go trucking down Skid. It's him, Skid McMarks. That man from the Infobot. In the flesh, little dude. You guys get a load of that epic space battle I was in? We saw ya, screaming for help. Uh, that was like a war cry. My agent and I got ambushed on the way to hoverboard practice. Did he survive the crash, sir? Ah, he's okay. But I've had a little trouble getting back to my ship due to my sprained ankle. Oh, come on. If you can take out all the sand sharks, I just might have a spare hoverboard for you. We'd love to help you, Mr. McMarks, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain... One of your boards? Hmm. I've always wanted a decent hoverboard. Well, all right. You just keep that foot elevated. Well, of course our hero gets motivated by greed. He's, at least he's not one of those, you know, self-righteous heroes that do everything because it's the right thing to do. You need a little bit of compensation nowadays. Come on. Yeah, the sand sharks are nothing to worry about. They can get taken out with one hit. And if you take out the little generator before they all come out, they'll make it a make it go by a bit faster. Okay, I got the pyro ammo even before I got the weapon. That makes sense. God knows what this game is doing to me. Whoa, it's raining sharks. Never thought I'd hear myself say that. Yeah, we're not going to have any of those, now are we? I think later on in the series, the nanotech starts recovering a bit more health over over the next few games. And thank God for it, because the series does get a little bit harder as the games go on, but I think the hardest it ever gets is in the next game. Third one, not so much. And I'm not counting, like, the the side challenges or anything like that. I'm talking about the main story. Side challenges, yeah, they're they're probably harder than the main story, but that's why they're there. They're there for an extra challenge. And they're not necessarily there for completion's sake. And don't fall into the red goop, because you will die. But you can free yourself if you just jump out fast enough. Man, they have this place loaded with nan attack. So yeah, don't touch the goop. And as soon as I say that, I fall right into it. Irony, not my best strong suit. I think someone's hidden around here. Yo, skids, I found your ship. Definitely you need a some repair. Now I'm taking hits. Not too many more. No 
No more sharks. Am I missing something? Luckily, if you, uh... Stop it. Here, man. Catch. A brand new Z3000. You can't even buy these. Well, I got a bail. Catch you dudes at the hoverboard races. At least the honors is part of the bargain. Most people just go, Nope! I'm not gonna give you jack shit. You... You die now. <laughs> Luckily, whenever you break a nat attack, it stays open so it won't vanish. And that's always a good thing. You don't want to be wasting healing items like that. But thankfully, you can't waste them. It just stays there forever. Well, unless you use it, of course. <laughs> ah, much better. We're not going to be able to use the hoverboard in this area, but we will in a stage or two. Can I break this open? Oh, I think that's a gold bolt. It is! Now, I said I wasn't going to go for the gold bolts, and I'm not. But, if I'm able to get to one easily, I'll pick it up. Plus, it'll give me a chance to show off at least one of the golden weapons. Now, where is his agent? He's gotta be around here somewhere. Um, camera, work with me here. He must be on the other side of the... other side of the... place. See, I don't want to actually call this a city, because it doesn't look like a city, it's more of a factory. Now I have enough money to get the parasitter. Hi there, fuzzball. It's time to flame broil some land sharks. Ha <laughs> ha! Luckily, these comes in these come in twenties because the the flamethrower burns through a lot of ammunition quite quickly. So it's definitely one that you're going to be getting a lot of ammunition for. But luckily, packs quite a punch, and there's usually ammo in ready locations. That being said, I still prefer the blaster. No sharks allowed. I still haven't figured out how to strafe. I don't know if that hasn't been introduced to the series yet. You know, in the... in the continuity of this video, anyway. I know that strafing does become a thing in the later games. I'm aware of this. Bad sharkies. I just don't remember when they put it in. My guess it's either the next game or the third game. Definitely the third game, because I remember it being in there. Yeah, this is more of a factory-esque kind of level. With a little bit of desert sprinkled in. And this is where you're going to be getting a lot of your swing shot practice in. Because these things are all over the place. Remember, you're holding on as long as you hold down the circle button. Unless it's the green one, because it lets go of you immediately. These latch on quite, quite far. It's like a long shot. Without the stupid need to upgrade it. Get away from the TNT crates. 
I don't even need to see it because I know it's there. There's no reason to not put it there. Oh crap. That could have ended badly. And ended with a lot of pain. Jeez, this place is huge. God knows what the hell they make in this dump. Whatever it is, probably not too good. That guy's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, hello, new item. Yeah, you can tell it's a new item when it has that yellowish glow around it. If you could grab it. Yes, this is the new gadget, the Trespasser. Trespasser. Ugh. No lisps in this video. What it allows you to do is basically get past any kind of locked door as long as you put these locks in the right position. It starts out easy, but it's going to get a little bit t more tedious as the game goes on. And I will give the game this, it does make you use all your tools. It's not just like a Zelda dungeon where you just use it mainly for that dungeon and you don't really have to use it ever again. Woohoo! Don't get it that way. I gotta change the camera around. It's kind of wonky on me. Right. Still got that other area to go through. You need a swing shots in this area. Yeah, we still gotta go through these, these walking areas. Yeah, nice shot when you're not even close to me in order to utilize your weapon. You're smart. You must be part of Drek's outfit. When in doubt, go first person. And you can go first person by holding down L1 or L2. I think I may have explained that before, but if not, I just did it again. It beeped once, because that's all it could. Now we're back on the ground again. Pointing out the obvious! And more damn land sharks. I think I've already had my fill of you guys. Dueling flamethrowers! You think it would be effective because he's wearing like an. like a firefighter suit while using it, but apparently it affects him in any shape or form. And we got land sharks in the tubes. Hi, buddy! Have a bomb. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't get to easily scooch over like you would in most games. I've been kind of playing uh, God of War 3, so I'm kind of trying to get back into the swing of things in this game. And yes, I finally got myself my own PS3. It's taken me this long. And I think his foot was glitched for a second. There he is. No signal whatsoever. This downtime is killing me. Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. I haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. Say, you look like an athletic kid. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City, I'll make you my next star. We have no time for trivial matters, sir. Hmm. 
I could be the next Skid McMarks. Not gonna get anything out of him now. That's gonna have to wait and wait for a while. Don't worry, we'll be back. Feel yeah, I should at least complete most, if not all, the missions. Teleport. I saw that gold bolt. You can't hide that from me. It's right there in that truck. Problem is, there's no way for me to get around it. At least not yet. And nothing new. Alright. I think we're done in this planet. Let's head off to the next one. Off to Eudora. Off to save the environment. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs> No, if that's not the purest definition of the word douchebag, I don't know what is. Is this them just so they won't have them? What a dick. Ah, nice lush green. And now every tree in within a quarter mile is going to get destroyed. That's never a good sign. We're going to start over here. So we can get through the trespasser. And put that over there. You over here, and you over here. Bingo! Very simple. In order to use the trespasser, you have to be on that green pad and press the circle button. Unfortunately, there's no ground, so I have to make do with a nice glide. Barely made that one. Okay, it's time to do a little bit of wrenching. Slingshot time. It's a good thing that Ratchet's main weapon is a wrench. Because otherwise, I don't think he'd be able to get through any of this place. Unless he manually grabbed it with his hands. But God forbid he could do that. Oh, thank God. Thank God you can grab Ratchet. I played the original Banjo Kazooie, and you can't grab in that game can the sequel. I don't know why it would take them that long to integrate grabbing into the mechanics, but God, God if I know. Get me up there. Back to the trespasser again. Thankfully there is no time limit with these, so you can take your time. there, and the last one right there. Presto! And now everything blows up. You sure showed him. I suppose I did. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. 
Grind boot tester. Warhead assembly technician. Mutant animal husbandry. Robot repair man. Suck cannon test dummy. And administrative assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, you think too much. Come on, let's go. Ah, you gotta love that. The reverse psychology thing. Oh, we'll go. But we need to talk to them first, and on the way we'll get some gadgets. Again, motivated by greed. Well, somewhat anyway. We just went in a complete 360. Now it's time to whack some robots. Whilst holding one on our back. A little bit hypocritical. Oh well. And that's a hole. Time to screw one on. Yeah. Surprisingly, there are no giant nails in this place, so we don't require a giant hammer. They're just all giant bolts. Convenient! Yeah, there's no way I'm getting across there. Hello. It's right in my face. Miz. Get up there. Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to glide down that far. Didn't stand a chance. Shit, can I make that? I don't know. Nope! And I fall into the abyss. At least I don't have to screw that bolt back in. Oh well. I'll go on my merry way. I'm just hovering around me? What are you doing? You silly robots. Hello? What is beyond here? Besides more bots. Is that it? Just a few boxes? That's kind of lame. Well, that's it. Don't know if I'll be able to finish this level one in this part, but I'll... I'll try my best to get through it. That's all anyone can ask. Hi, buddy. Ah, that was dumb. But luckily, healing spot right next to me. Lord knows how they got across the, this area without these bridges. Unless those little hover skirts they got can really amp up so they can fly over it. I'm thinking way too hard about this. That's what I do, I think logically about this kind of crap. Whoa! Just hit him. Try not to get shot in the face. Take no prisoners! Rambo style. Sometimes it's the better way. Did 
Damn, this plant have any have any more trees they need? Still a dick move by Dragbite. Oh, we have enough trees, but fuck them. They shouldn't have any. Yeah, it's kind of a two-dimensional villain moment there. And the villains don't have to be that two-dimensional. They can be intelligent. But still not be a gigantic ass cheek. But hey, I guess that's why they make villains in the first place. Give us someone to hate so we can bludgeon their head in with a giant wrench. Or some such bullshit. So many dead ends in this place. Uh, it's easy to find my way out. Oh, that was bullshit. You guys know it. Can't reach up there just yet. Maybe with a nice crouch jump, I'd be able to do it. There we go. I don't know if it's called a hella jump, uh, and some or some kind of other jump. Let's do this. That was anticlimactic. Glove of Doom. Again, I'm getting ammunition for something I don't even own yet. Oh, but I will have the gl glove of doom. It speaks to me. It says. Kill everything and everyone. Especially those who would take away your trees. Yeah, I think we'll barely be able to get through here. Unfortunately, this guy's not right next to a... Not right next to an explosive barrel, so it's not that easy. But easy nonetheless. Right. Yeah, we should be close to finishing this level. If not, then I'll shave off a few seconds. Oh, now there's two of them. I'm so scared. Not. Master of Explosives. That be me. So love it when everything blows up. Sweet. Yay, the suck cannon! You used to suck up smaller enemies and use them as ammunition. And it can also suck up boxes, too. So it makes it a bit easier to get cash. Let's try it out. Fortunately, you can't keep sucking in ammunition because I guess that would make it a bit too broken. So you have to get all of them in one go. Other than that, that's pretty much the whole area. Okay, let's check this out. So uh, bind this. And what the Glove of Doom does, well... It brings you minions! And these minions will go and destroy every enemy they see. And they are awesome. But I think that's going to do it for this part. And next time, let's play Ratchet and Clank. Wait, did I... We'll be heading over to the Blog Station in Nebula G34. I'll see you guys next time.
Beware the glove of doom.